Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for the end of January. This is for Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. This is for the end of January. All right, this is being recorded on January 12th, so it may resonate now or it may not, but we'll see what happens. It's really for the end of January. We're going to get one of these, we're going to get one of these, and we're going to use that tarot deck right there. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do they need to know for the end of January? End of January. <gasps> Regret. I know that I cannot change the past. <laughs> Interesting. And maybe you guys are letting go of regrets. I mean, I don't know. I don't know about you, but I'm a Taurus and I have to I have to address this. I do. I have to address this because I don't know how you guys are feeling, but I don't really, I don't want to change the past. I don't. I'm at a point where I'm over it. So I don't know about you guys, but maybe it's letting go of the regrets. Maybe it's not, I don't know, maybe some of you do have regrets over the past. I, you know, if I, let me, let me rephrase this. Let me, let me go back a little bit. I mean, I have regrets for chasing. I have regrets for making the wrong decisions. Perhaps, you know, some of you even have regrets for allowing yourself to be taken advantage of. Um, maybe there's some regrets for not knowing your self-worth. So maybe maybe you're at the end of January you're you're regretting some of the the major decisions that you have made. And you're coming to the realization, you know, I made those decisions. I've learned from them and I know that the past is the past and I can't you know, I can't let that hinder my success. And, and next time I need to make better choices and next time I need to know what I'm worth and next time I need to not um, chase the wrong opportunities. It's all about the future now. Let's get one of these. Wisdom. Now, I just did my daily for the 12th, and the wisdom came up. It's the Hierophant. The Hierophant is the wisdom card. You see the owl? The owl is the highest form of intuitive wisdom. It is. The owl is also um, a uh, symbol of death and change. And that, that falls right in line with what I just said. It's allowing the past and the wisdom. If you think about the Hierophant, it's a teacher. It's about, it is. The Hierophant is a teacher. You can only be a teacher from learning, right? So it looks like somebody has learned something from their past. And they are regretting the decisions, the choices that they have made. And they have gained wisdom from the past mistakes. So at the end of January, you're going to, you're going through a major change. It's, it's it's a death, okay? The owl is a symbol of death, which is death is a symbol of change, because you have gained the inner wisdom. You have learned something from the past. It all happened for a reason, right? It did. It all happened for a reason. I'm Virgo rising, so I'm a little bit uh, 
I gotta have it right. So, um, Taurus, end of January. Going through a major shift, okay? We got a major transformation here with that owl right there. Transformation time. Letting go of the past regrets. Accepting them, dealing with them, and releasing them. Because you think about death. The owl is a symbol of that, okay? It's releasing. I've gained the wisdom. I know better. I know better. You guys are not the same person. You're not the same person. You have transformed. You have big transformation. Gained intuitive wisdom, okay? That's, if you were to look up the meaning of the owl, okay, of owl, you look it up. I, I just I recently saw an owl like three weeks ago, and I posted a video. It's, it's private now, but if you really want to see it, I could make it on private. But me and that owl, we were like 10, foot of, 10 feet away. I'm not kidding. And it's a symbol of massive change. So you guys are, and, 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 and with Uranus coming into Taurus, I hope you, you've got your uh, boots on, you know, you're ready because you're about to have a massive transformation. You will be hardly recognizable probably within the next year. You won't be the same person and you're not the same person. Big, huge, it's huge. I hope you're prepared. <laughs> oh. oh God, are you prepared? Are you prepared? I mean, I don't know about this. I don't know if you're prepared for this. You know, th but this could also be self-love. This is emotional contentment, right? This is, could be new love. Happiness. This is a new start. A new start in love. Oh my goodness. Oh, but you might turn it down. You may turn it down. You know, it's like you're being offered this love by God. God is giving you an opportunity. And this could be self-love. You may not want to start any new chapter at this point. You know, I'm not, <laughs> you know, I'm still going through my major shift here. I've gained the wisdom. I don't want to be impulsive. And I think that there's been impulsive actions in the past that you regret and you're like, <laughs> no, uh, no, I'm too wise now. I'm not going to be jumping into anything. No, mm -mm. No, I'm working hard on myself. I'm working hard on everything. I'm really putting in effort to be the best that I can be. So you may be receive an offer of love for, from somebody brand new, okay? You get this new offer. It's like, you know, they want you to jump. They want you to take that leap with them. They want to, you know, they have this attraction to you and you're just like, ah. I got work to do, thank you very much. I'm working on me. I'm working on my transformation and I don't want to jump in anything I'm going to regret. Yeah, you're, you're, you're holding on to your stability right now. It's like, you know what, I'm just working on my stability. I'm not willing, I don't have anything to give you right now. Hold on to what I have to hold on to. I'm, I, I'm working on myself. That's what it looks like to me. Um, not giving. Not giving. I'm not, I'm not. I'm obsessed with the work that I'm doing. I'm obsessed on this change that I'm going through. I'm ob I am. I'm obsessed on my own security and my own stability right now. Because you don't want to be cheated. You don't want to be robbed. You don't want to be hurt. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yeah, you guys are, are guarding yourself. You're guarding yourself. You're delaying any anybody. It's like you're probably telling anybody that comes towards you with 
anything uh, well I'm trying to use the best wordage here um, any sexual advance, advances okay just you know whatever you're you're blocking them you're blocking them I think that you're blocking any new passionate beginning you're blocking it because you don't you know you're you're holding on to your own power right now you don't want to get sidetracked you don't you don't want to get distracted you don't want to get robbed of your own emotional fulfillment it's like You're going down a new, you're, you're starting a new phase in your life. You've just completed a phase. And you're headed towards victory and success. And I think that you know that you would rob yourself of success if you, you know, acted impulsively. So, you know, I see a lot of common sense and I feel like, you know, you're blocking, you are blocking anybody from... hurting you you know I don't want to get hurt I don't want to uh, I don't have now there's a funny is that three or two of, I just want to look at this a little bit closer so usually there's only two swords down here so he's like got three swords and he's holding four so you know it's like you don't you don't want to get you don't want to get sidetracked you don't want to you don't want to get hurt you don't want to uh, it's like you're going to take a break from love because four is take a break. You're going to take a break from love right now because you're just not emotionally invested in it. It's not. It's like I'm working on my self-love. I'm working on having the best new beginning that I can have. Right? You want victory and success at the highest level. And you've just completed something in your life, something big. That's what the owl is, death and rebirth. I mean, it is. Yes, you're taking a break. You're going within. It's like, I'd rather be alone right now. I just need to be alone because I'm healing. I'm becoming consciously aware. I'm going through some sort of awakening. I'm uh, planning for my future. I'm healing. I'm, I'm changing. I'm evolving. It's, I need to be alone right now. So, um, yeah, you're, you're not, I think that you will be shutting down any offers of a relationship because you're not, you're, you're, you're traveling to a new destination and this new destination does not involve, um, getting distracted by a relationship. Now, if you are in a coupled, if you are coupled and you are watching this, you could, you know, I have to be honest with you here. If you are coupled, you could be. Uh, this is kind of like a breakup, okay? It's a completion of a relationship that you may have held on to because it was stable. I'm just saying. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with... Looks like we basically have Virgo here. Um... You could be dealing with a Virgo, uh, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, or Scorpio. But it's like you're not ready to, you're not willing to take a risk with anybody. It's like, no, I'm not taking no risk. I'm not taking risks. The risks have caused me regret. So I think right now you guys have learned a lot of, uh, a lot of wisdom. You have a lot of inner wisdom about uh, what has happened and you're trying to figure out what your next step is. You're working on that next step, okay? You are. You're, you're planning. You're in the process of planning. You are reevaluating your life. You're taking a break from love. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like, but it looks like somebody's interested. Somebody's attracted with this ace of wands. Somebody may want to start something passionate with you and you're like no I can't I can't right now I'm delaying it I don't have any desire for this you know I I uh, I got too much going on right now you know I don't I, I don't I can't give you my any emotional support I can't give you anything you know that's gonna grow because I'm working on 
my new chapter. I'm working on my new life. I'm working on my new beginning. I'm working on my transformation. So I think that you guys aren't going to be taking any risks with anybody. I don't see that happening. I think you're healing. You're healing over being hurt still in the past. You're, you're healing over the mistakes that you have made. You're going through a transformation, Taurus. So at the end of January, you are really stepping over that finish line. You really are. This is stepping over the finish line. You've learned a big lesson. A lesson has been learned. And you know that you have to work on yourself. And you know it's going to take a lot of work to release yourself from some sort of probably a relationship that really hurt you. I think that you are in the process of releasing it and you're not ready to take a risk and you don't have faith in another relationship at this time because I have just completed something really big and I'm going through a transformation <laughs> and I just want to be happy right now. I just want to be happy. I'm letting go of my ego. I'm letting go of my fears. I'm, I'm letting go. I'm letting go right now and I have to do that by myself. Yes, you're letting go. Of the, this is letting go of the past hurts. That's what it means in reverse, okay? So it's, it's a time of healing. It's a time of forgiveness at the end of January. You're working on that. You're working on, you know, bandaging up your heart after a serious, you know, after a lot of regret. Regret for, you know, how you... probably what you gave to the situation you're probably regretting how it all happened the whole I, I mean all of it and I I believe that's what it is I I do I mean I have serious I don't know about you but I have some serious regrets about how I handled the situation you know about how I allowed myself to be taken advantage of And this is a card of, I mean, this is my most worst card. I hate this card. It's the Five of Swords. Somebody, you know, really took advantage. Somebody really uh, didn't see another person's worth. Somebody really uh, was very controlling and manipulative and didn't care who they hurt. And now it's like, I don't, I, I just want to be happy. I want to be happy. I need to let this go. I need to let this pain go. And the only way to do that is to follow my own path. There's, there we go. To believe in myself. To follow my own path truly. To listen to my gut and to work on me. Somebody is making and setting clear intentions for themselves. This is you. Knowing that you have to go down that new path, you are believing in yourself, and you know that you gotta heal, and you know that you gotta do this on your own, and that's what this is. There could be a break in some sort of commitment for some of you because it's no longer passionate. There's no more passion left there. Whether this person breaks up with you or you break up with them or whatever, it's like there's no passion left, and. Now it's time to, you know, there's a lost opportunity here. There, this is a lost opportunity. It's a, I don't want an opportunity right now. Either somebody has tossed you away or you've tossed them away and now you're not ready for another one. That's what I see. And now you're probably going to put yourself in a repression. And maybe this person puts you in a repression. J.B. You know, this is a repression. There's, there's secrets. There's lies. And I think that you are... 
you know, you were dealing with somebody that had hidden agendas and they, they clouded your vision. And now you know that you have to get that back. And I feel like right now you're going to get prepared. You're going to work on yourself and you're going to wait. You're going to wait. And when, when that perfect opportunity arrives, you're going to appreciate it. But right now you're in the process of getting prepared. And during this time of preparation, you're probably going to seclude yourself from any relationship. It's like, no, I don't want a relationship right now. I'm working on me. I mean, that's what I see. Oh, God. You know, but I feel like somebody is watching you and they might be upset. They might be upset. Look at, the, look at his fist. Okay. Somebody is probably watching you and they might be upset that... You know, you're finding peace. That you're setting boundaries. Somebody wants you to work with them. Somebody wants to communicate with you. Somebody wants you to make compromises. Somebody wants to be with you. Somebody wants to be with you. Somebody may be trying to teach you something. Maybe they thought they were going to teach you a lesson. These people are teaching him a lesson. And this guy's like, and then with the five of swords, this is it. Somebody thought they were going to teach you a lesson. But the fact, and this is a lesson, the teacher. Somebody thought they were going to teach you a lesson. And they may think they're going to teach you a lesson. Or they, they thought they were going to teach you a lesson. By throwing you away. Or throwing away an opportunity. But it looks like you're no longer invested in them. And they're probably upset. That you're no longer invested in them. It's like, no, I don't. I'm good. I'm good. I'm going to focus on myself. Everything but love. So I feel like in, it's whoever this person is that is upset, they realize that you're no longer invested in them. It's like, no. Mm -mm. I'm focusing on my stability. I'm focusing on my security. I'm focusing on my job. I'm focusing on my money. I'm focusing on my self because right now I'm not grounded. Right now I'm not feeling stable and I need to get that back. So I think that you guys are absolutely not going to uh, allow this person to, whoever this person, somebody's watching you. Somebody is observing you and they are pissed. They're not happy that you are healing. They're really not. And they may want to hinder your progress. Just, i got to tell you, they may want to hinder your progress, but I don't think they're going to get very far. I don't. Because I feel like, you know, you're ruthless. I feel like you're going to, you're, you're, this, the king of pentacles in reverse is ruthless. It feels like you're ruthlessly working on yourself. It's like, I don't even, these people are covered up now. I'm working on, I don't care what you have to teach me. You know? It's just like, you know what? I don't care. And this part is, so I think that there's, there could be some communication that comes through with somebody that says that they got something they can help you with or whatever. Some sort of conflicting, you could get a conflicting message or conflict or some message that makes you feel conflicted or something like that. Somebody says, why can't we just work together? Why can't we work this out or whatever and you're like no I've already learned my lesson from the past thank you um I'm moving on so you could receive a message from somebody whether I whether I don't know who it is it could be I it could be somebody brand new but it could be somebody from the past but I think that you will reject it 
I think that you will reject reject it because you you want peace. You want you want you don't want to stay in this troubled situation. It's like I I want to go where it's nice and peaceful. So I think that you are taking the lead and you are you are headed in a different direction towards peace and serenity. And I think that you are going to wait patiently and you're going to get prepared for that um, perfect arrival. Okay, so I feel at the end of January that you are probably going to receive a message or an offer from somebody that wants to either get to know you or work with you or team up okay this is team up and you're just like no mm -mm. I see I see I see what this is I see what this is about and I've already learned my lesson and right now I'm wise enough to know better I'm going through a transformation. I'm headed to a new destination. And I don't think you're going to be there. So I feel like the answer is no. I think that you are probably involved. You have been involved or you are involved right now in a situation that you just want to be alone. I just need to be. I do. I see it with the hermit and, and the the hair eye priestess reversed. I can't. I can't. No, not right now. You're not willing to take any risks. You're healing. You're transforming. You're changing. And you're wiser because of the past. So, yeah, I see you guys turning down any offers of, of uh, passion. Okay? And that's what I see. So, and that's what I have for the end of January. Is there anybody new coming in? There could be. But I don't think you'll take it. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't see anybody accepting. Because I see self-love here. I love myself enough to, to know that acting impulsively with somebody is in the past. <laughs> so that's what I have, Taurus.